What's going on, everybody? Uh, so, I'm going to be doing this a little bit different. I just got out of saying Detective Pikachu. I'm in my car right now, about to head home. Um, but I decided I wanted to do it this way um, instead of, you know, my normal setup and, you know, lights and everything. I just, I want to talk about this, you know, on the way home and whatnot, you know, right as it's fresh in my mind. So, this movie stars Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu, and it takes place in a world where Pokemon are real. They coexist with humans. Uh, it's a live-action Pokemon movie. And, honestly, the CGI looks fantastic in this movie. Um, I've never been the biggest Pokemon fan, so naturally I don't know too much. Like, I know the basic. I know Pikachu. Pikachu was always my favorite whenever I did you know, briefly get into Pokemon. I know Charizard and, um, you know, Squirtle and, um, Ditto. I know the basics, uh, but there was a lot of Pikachus, you know, a lot of Pokemon that I did not recognize just because I've never been a big fan of the, uh, them. I never was into collecting the cards, playing the card game, watching any of the TV shows. Yeah, I just, I wasn't into any of that. But this movie, you know, it didn't pander to all those, you know, people that did grow up with it. Yeah, you have little Easter eggs that I probably didn't get or, you know, that most people might. But it really did introduce me to this world, and I really enjoyed it. This movie is a lot of fun. It is a lot, you know, a really good detective buddy, you know, mystery type, you know, try to solve the case type movie, and I really enjoyed it. Um... Ryan Reynolds does a great job voicing Pikachu. I really did like, you know, the fact that he was in it. I really did like the kid that played um, the main dude that, you know, his partner. Um, some of it, you know, was a little cheesy. I will say that, like, the um, love interest or the reporter chick, um, the way that she was, like, you, it felt like she was trying to portray an anime character. Uh, which makes sense, but at the same time, for the type of tone of movie they were going for, it just didn't really make sense. Um, you know, and then they have tried to have a couple of twists in the movie, um, you know, and I predicted it. I really did. And not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, I predict a lot of movie twists that I probably shouldn't be able to predict, but, uh, yeah, uh, really that's my only flaws is you know her character was a little cheesy it just it was a little off-putting at first uh but you know that was great the cgi was great you know the writing was actually really good um do i think they could should make a sequel i'm honestly not sure uh they set up a really good world and you know if they did i would want it you know in a different part with new characters i wouldn't want the same characters maybe um but if you see the movie you'll understand why i'm saying that but overall this was a pretty fun film uh i really did enjoy it i think that a lot of people will if you go into it knowing that it is you know it reminded me a lot of the like old detective movies like the cheesy detective films mixed with pokemon and a little bit of the japanese culture which I, I really did like the fact that they added a lot of Japanese culture because, I mean, Jap Japan is where po uh, Pokemon came from. So, yeah, um, really good film. Uh, I really did enjoy it. I will be picking this up day one on 4K because I do think that this movie will look fantastic on 4K. Uh, like I said, I have a couple flaws with the movie, but overall, a really fun film, and I do recommend this one. Um, so I'm going to give uh, Detective Pikachu a b plus uh i really did love this film and yeah um come down below let me know what you guys you know thought of this movie did you see it did you are you waiting for it to you know come out are you gonna red box are you gonna rent it are you gonna pirate it let me know all that down in the comments also let me know if you grew up with pokemon and like let's talk about you know some of the easter eggs and if you grew up with it you know and watching it and loving it you know let me know how it compares to that did they do a good job with building this world uh I, i'm very curious about that did y'all like it uh because those are the people that's gonna be real critical of it uh, but yeah um just let me know all that down in the comments also let me know what your favorite pokemon is mine is obviously pikachu uh i don't know why but like in smash brothers i always loved playing as pikachu that was always my go-to character in smash brothers so yeah um 
Let me know. Let me know all that down in the comments. And in the description, I have links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages for the channel. You clicking over there for updates and personal life things I'm working on, things I'm thinking about doing. Uh, I post little notifications about uh, when I uh, upload or I go live on Instagram and I just talk to you guys. Uh, I also give digital copies away to movies over there. Uh, I just I do a bunch of stuff on my social media. So if you want to you know keep up to date with all that, then follow me over there. Uh, also, I'll have a link to my Reddit page for the YouTube, for this channel. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to uh, run a Reddit page. Uh, hell, I'm not even that great at running my other social media pages. But Reddit, I definitely don't know how to do that. So, if you have any tips, let me know. You know, Message me on Instagram or Facebook or just comment down below and let me know. But... Yeah, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help me out. Also, show all your friends, family, and other and people that you don't know. And hit that subscribe button for more awesome content like this. And hit the little bell icon to be notified when I upload. And I'm sorry if this is, you know, kind of shaky. I'm holding my camera, my, uh, camera with my hands. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.